स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू रैपिड रिवीजन फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेक्शन ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिसीजन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा ओके और वी कैन से दैट रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर लेट्स फैमिलराइज यू विद द टर्म्स डिसाइडेबल एंड अनडिसाइडेबल सो व्हाट इज डिसाइडेबल एंड व्हाट इज अनडिसाइडेबल A problem is said to be decidable if there exists an algorithm to solve it. Okay, um, a problem is known as a decidable problem if there exists an algorithm to solve that problem. Otherwise, it is known as undecidable problem. Okay, so these are the two terms that you must be familiar with in order to go through the next section. Now, for the decision properties of finite automata, I may categorize it into four types. that is first emptiness problem we will be discussing these three uh, these four problems in detail that is emptiness problem finiteness problem that is a particular uh, string uh, that we are accepting that particular language is finite or not then uh, as the third one is equivalence problem that means checking whether two finite automata accept the same language or not equivalence problem then we will at the last we will be studying about the membership problem it is about a string whether a string uh, x is accepted by a given finite automata or not so these are the following uh, decision properties upon which we will be discussing further so first of all let's discuss the emptiness problem okay so we will be discussing the emptiness problem so what it is all about emptiness as a name suggests it means check checking whether the given finite automata accepts empty language or non empty language if uh, it uh, it, uh, it checks whether the finite automata is uh, accepts empty language or not empty language or non empty language so it's very simple one of the simple algorithms we can say very easy first of all um, the, this this problem is a decidable problem for a finite automata as algorithm exists so what is the algorithm for checking the emptiness for solving the emptiness problem it is uh, for checking whether a finite automata accepts empty language or non empty language the first uh, step is that you should uh, eliminate eliminate the inaccessible states you have to uh, eliminate the inaccessible states from the finite automata and the second one is that if the resultant finite automata contains at least one final state if uh, resultant uh, finite automata contains at least one final state then then it means that it is it accepts a non empty language and um, otherwise it accepts the empty language if at least one final state then it is non empty language it is accepting okay and otherwise empty now um let's take an example in order to understand it okay for the emptiness problem um suppose uh, this is an example that uh, this is a particular state so i'm having a comma b and this is a state y which is like this which shows transaction like this so if we observe that uh, this part i can say this part is inaccessible from the initial state as this part is inaccessible then we are going to this is the first step that we have to eliminate the inaccessible since this is an inaccessible state we have to remove it so uh, we are removing this part so uh, we have eliminated this part and in this uh, result in finite automata we are having at least one final state then it is accept non empty language otherwise it accepts empty language since there is no final state so it is accepting empty language so that is how we have we will have to do the solve this uh, type of uh, problems and uh, suppose uh, if there is a finite automata that is like this 
and uh, even if uh, yeah it is an inaccessible state like this so suppose this is kind of a dfa and uh, okay like this uh, suppose this is a kind of dfa so uh, uh, we can see from the figure that this one is inaccessible so when i remove it i removed it there's still um, still a final state exists so it accepts a non empty language so non empty language so that is how we can um, we can solve an emptiness problem now heading towards the second problem that is known as finiteness problem so finiteness problem as the name suggests and every uh, problem suggests name suggests was what is it is trying to do okay so uh, it means saying that whether language uh, accepted by the given automata is finite or not. So let's write it. Checking whether checking whether the language accepted by given finite automata is finite or not. Okay. That is the language is infinite or finite. We are going to do that. So, uh, since the algorithm exists, then finiteness problem for uh, finite automata is also a decidable problem. Okay, now um, the algorithm, what the algorithm says is first of all, you have to eliminate all the all inaccessible states okay now second one says fine now second one says is eliminate the states eliminate states from which final state is not reachable okay now Next one is uh, in the resultant finite automata, in the resultant finite automata, if there exists, if there exists any loop or cycle, loop or cycle is there, then the automata, automata accepts the finite language. Sorry, automata accepts infinite because of the loop. Accepts fi infinite language. Otherwise finite. So this is the thing that is uh, kept in mind, kept in mind. So first of all, you have to remove all the inaccessible states. Then second, eliminate states from which final state is not reachable. And in the final uh, result in finite automata, if there exists any loop or cycle, then the automata accepts infinite language. Otherwise, it accepts a finite language. So now um, let's take an example for this also. Suppose I'm having this automata. Now, what happens is that, first of all, uh, I have to remove all the inaccessible states. So, um, as, I, as I can say that uh, I can go to every state. So, nobody is inaccessible. Then, uh, remove uh, those states from which final state is not reachable. Since uh, from every state, final state is reachable, I can also not eliminate anything. And... Uh, Resultant finite automata, if consists any loop or cycle, yes, it consists of loop as well as cycle, both present. So, it, the language accepted is infinite language. So, that is how we have to do these type of questions and solve these problems. Now, sec third one is a equivalence problem. So, let's... Uh, Third one is equivalence problem. So, 
So an equivalence problem, I can say that it means that checking whether given two finite automata, given two finite automata accept same language or not. So uh, we are given to a finite automata and you have to check that whether the given finite automata accept the same language or not. So here in this question, suppose this is given like uh, this is our question. This is our state A. This is state B. And 0. And suppose this is another one. C, T. Uh, I can say that this is an important algorithm because it's different from what we... Well, we don't know this normally. And that will be helpful in the exam if I know that. So... You have to check whether these two finite automata accept the same language or not. So we have to uh, make the comparison table for uh, this. This is the algorithm that it that says. Uh, first of all, I have to make and make a comparison table. Okay. Uh, and uh, one thing that has to be kept in mind is uh, that we are taking the Final, final together and non final, non final together. So let's check firstly what are the final states for here. Final state is A and non final is B. Here, final states are C and D and non final is E. So final together and non final together. So comparison table will be like this. So A, C, Final, final, AD, final, final, and BE, non final, non final. And uh, the symbols 0 and 1. For AC, we can say that A on 0 goes to A only and C on 0 goes to D. So we are getting AD. And uh, on AC, A on 1 is B and C on 1 is E. So we are getting this. A on 0 is A and uh, A on D is, sorry, D on 0 is D. A on 1 is B and D on 1 is E. Also B on 0, B on 0 is uh, A and B, E on 0 is C. B on 1 is B and uh, E on 1 is E. So let's check whether the thing we have to do is to check whether the final final and non final non final are together or not. So these are final and this these are final A and C D. So A C and A D are final then it's okay. So A D is okay, A D is okay and A C is also okay. And B must uh, and B and E must be together. So B B and together. So all are uh, we can say that final final are together and uh, non final and non final are together so uh, it accepts uh, the same language therefore these two are equal and suppose something uh, suppose a e comes here then what happens that will be not equal okay so that is the concept that is the algorithm to do this now uh, heading towards our fourth property that is the membership problem membership problem is uh, as the name suggests i told you that each of the properties has its specified name so it does the same work all now, only so it means checking whether string x string x is accepted accepted by given finite automata or not this uh, this uh, problem is uh, decidable 
because by reading a complete string you by reading the complete string automata halts in final state and after the completion of the whole string if it is in final state then it is a member otherwise if it is a non final state if it halts somewhere else then it is it does not belong to the finite automata it is not accepted by finite automata so uh, traversing a string or passing so we can say uh, with checking a string is a member of the given finite automata is checked by whether it uh, it enters into the final state after the whole traversal and it is a member otherwise it is not so that is all for decision properties of finite automata thanks for listening if you like the video please like comment and subscribe bye for now thank you